What are the ways through which we receive the counsel from the Lord? Now we receive counsel from the word of God. The word of God is the principal agent of counsel for anyone that wants to walk in the way of the Lord and experience what God has ordained. The word of the Lord, you know, little wonder the, the psalmist says in Psalm 119, uh, uh, you see in Psalm 119 verse 105, the Bible says, the word is the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. In other words, if I need counsel, just like he said, in Psalm 73 verse 24 that you will guide me with your counsel. You will guide me with your counsel and afterward you will receive me unto glory. And if you are going to guide me with your counsel, you will also do so by your word. Because your word will be the lamp unto my feet and the light unto my path. And God also gives counsel. He gives counsel to his children through his spirit. John chapter 16, Jesus made it very clear to his disciples and to everyone that cared to listen in verse 13 of John chapter 16 that the spirit of the living God is the spirit of truth and when he comes, he will guide you. He will counsel you. He will instruct you. He will lead you in the way of truth. That's what the Holy Ghost does. He is the one who is the chief counselor of the Trinity. And then as believers, we must also know that God has placed our parents over us for a purpose. He has done that for a purpose. We can receive counsel from our parents. And if you are a young person here and uh, you've be, been very heady, when it comes to receiving instruction from your parent, please, I want you to be careful because if you do not repent, it may be something you have to regret about. But I pray that you will not get to that point of regret. You know, in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8, look at what, you know, the writer of Proverbs says, Say, my son, hear the instruction of who? Hear the instruction of who? And forsake not the law of thy mother. So it means that God can use our parents to instruct us. Use our parents to instruct us. And older people, people that are not just our parents, they are not our parents, they are older people, they can also be used to instruct us. And so when you have elders around you and they have to give you counsel, please listen to their counsel so that it will be well with you so that you get to where God wants you to get to. You know, Moses was called of God to lead the people of Israel to their promised land. Now, he was anointed for that purpose, but begged for the counsel of Jethro, his father-in-law, Possibly Moses will have died before the time he did. You know, in Exodus chapter 18, when the father-in-law paid him a visit and saw how burdensome his task was. From verse 17 of Exodus 18, now the father-in-law had to speak to him to tell him, this thing that you are doing is not good. In other words, the way you are going about this assignment, even though it is the assignment from the Lord, the way you are going about it is not good. And if you read the rest of the story, you know, to verse 24, you will see how Jethro gave him counsel. And um, Moses listened to that counsel. And, you know, God also turned around his ministry because of that counsel. And now God can also use the men of God. God can use pastors. He can use prophets, you know, to counsel you, to counsel you. I've seen that, uh, you know, a, a young man came to my office not too long ago. And then he told me how terrible things had become with his life. When I looked at him and I said, well, I, I, I believe God wants you to straighten out your life. And then I pointed out some few things to him. 
And I told him, I said, are you ready to straighten out your life? And uh, he said, he will go and think about it. And I said, okay. Uh, when will you give me a feedback? He, he said, next week. And so, I gave him a book. I prayed with him. But I'm little to let you know that it's over a month. He, he never turned back. Because, you know, there are some who think that, yes, God is a miracle worker, but God is not a magician. God has his own precept. Can you hear? Please help me tell your neighbor, God has his own precept. And if you are not willing to follow the precept of God, you can't experience the possibilities of God. You know, in Jeremiah 18, 18, look at what, you know, the scripture says. It says then they said, come and let us devise devices against Jeremiah because as a prophet of God, he was speaking, bringing the counsel of God to the people. He said, for the Lord shall not perish from the priest. That's the first category of the men of God. The priest, the Lord shall not perish from him. He said, no, the counsel from the wives. That's another category of people that the Lord have anointed, God have set apart to reach out to his people. And they said the word from the prophet. The word from the prophet. But now the people were not willing to receive that counsel. They said, well, come, let us mind this prophet. Let's make sure that he doesn't leave. He doesn't leave. And so for us, as God's people, if we are going to get our next levels, let's learn to take the counsel from the Lord. 